Hey, it's Jay Akunzo, and I'm back. I am back speaking at one of my favorite events in the entire marketing industry, Experience Inbound. And, and I wanted to try and help us shift our thinking even ahead of the event. I hope you can attend. But if not, here's something to push your thinking as a communicator. A lot of times today, we're being pushed to think about the volume of our content. You know, like how do you take one thing and repurpose that into a bunch of things? And we have all these channels we have to care about. It can kind of feel like we're stuck on a content marketing hamster wheel. I'd like us to get off that hamster wheel. And the way I want us to do that is to stop thinking about the volume we produce and start thinking about the power of our words and of our ideas. And I wanted to share with you a story from a very powerful communicator, Ira Glass. I wanna see if we can spot how he adds power to a story that normally we wouldn't care about. So here's the beginning of the story. Let's spot the moment that he tips from, you know, telling a generic story that's fine and gripping to moving you and making you remember him. <clears throat> Here's the story. So this guy, Brett, that he's talking about, Brett was on the subway platform, afternoon rush hour. It's mobbed. And down the platform, he sees this guy. The guy goes up to one person after another, stands very close, says something, and moves on. He's nicely dressed, doesn't seem to be asking for money, and he approaches person after person, standing too close, saying something quietly, and then moving on to the next person. And as he gets closer, Brett can hear what he's saying. And what the man is saying is, you, you can stay and on to the next person. You, you got to go. You're out of here. And Brett starts talking to Ira Glass. And he's like, Ira, as the guy got closer to me, I was starting to get a little nervous. But Brett, he's not choosing you for anything. And Brett's like, I know. But the man walks up to Brett, stands a little too close and says, you can stay. And Brett felt euphoria. There's no other word for it, really. In his mind, he knew there was no reason to care, but in his heart, it made him really, really happy. That's a good story, and it's told by a good storyteller, but there's not much power to it. In other words, you're not inspired to take an action, which is our jobs as marketers today to inspire action. But then Ira Glass adds one little moment to the story, which increases its power and moves us to internalize the message of the story and maybe even change our behavior. And that's when he says this. There is something about the judgment of strangers. It's as if by their status as strangers, they have some special instantaneous insight into who we are. Their vision isn't clouded by our feeble attempts to charm our friends and uh, the people we work with. So that little moment, that little phrase can tip you from a good storyteller to an effective storyteller. And that's what I'll be speaking about at Experience Inbound, how to get off the content marketing hamster wheel and compete less on the volume of your work and more on the impact of your ideas. How do you increase the power of your words to stop demanding action from others and learn to inspire it? Can't wait to see you at one of the best events in this entire industry, Experience Inbound. See ya.